Shelburne team manager after Exxon Sexton won their win over Shelburne. Pat, what a performance from your side. Yeah, we were we were sort of all over the place in the first half. A lot of injuries, I think it's eight now. And um, we've kept it quiet and we've done a little bit of work on them, but we didn't get anything back. Lost three last week and we five out, so it's been tough. Uh, we struggled a little bit in the first half, got a good goal, and we struggled. And uh, we rolled our up a little bit, fantastic. Uh, came out in the second half, we were a bit more uh, structured, a little bit more balanced to the team. Uh, some of the younger lads done better than they had done in the first half. And uh, it was a very, a very good uh, three points, uh, excellent three points. And obviously, did the defensive performance maybe you know please you the most tonight? Obviously, maybe attacking wise didn't really pose too much of a threat to shells, but defensively, were brilliant at all. Well, I, I felt uh, that we were very, very good on the attack, and with a little bit more, I suppose, uh, clinical passing, we, we might have went one or two up, uh, but two or three up, but we didn't. And uh, like defenders are there to defend, and you know the man the match tonight was Conor Cady by a mile, and the second behind him was Steve McGuinness. So. That says it all, but the back four as a whole done very, very well, and that's their job done, and Marty got his call, that's his job done. So, in between all that, it's a bit of a jigsaw, so you hope to pull it together, and we did, you know, we got over the line 90 minutes, and uh, we win 1-0. And obviously, that leaves you, I know, obviously I know it's one game at a time, but you know, you're second in the table, now you're four points ahead of Shells, and you people's, you know, they're, I suppose they're favourites for the title at the start of the season, but look, you must be obviously delighted with how things are going so far. Yeah, I look, I'm pleased now. I'm looking forward to next week in Longford. I, I can't wait for it. I think it's a fantastic game for us. It's a type of game that we relish and uh, we have absolutely no fear. We're looking forward to it and we will give them one hell of a game. And I know for a fact that I don't have to ask those lads to give me everything. They are giving me everything. So once they give me everything, I have no fear. I absolutely think we can out and beat them. It's probably the most pleasing part of it that the players are giving you everything and they are showing no fear. So. Yeah, and then, look, the comments will come. We've got a lot of young lads in the team at the moment, a hell of a lot, but a lot of injuries. So if we can get a couple of players back, um, you know, we can get people a little bit fitter. Well, then, yeah, like we put in Alex to when he's been here for six weeks. So, uh, you know, we just need to get them a bit fitter. But as it's coming, we don't have a big squad. In numbers, we do, but in quality, we don't. So we have to get the best players that we have on in the team. And at this moment, when I can't ask for anymore. And heading into next week, then. Um, what is the injury updates? Obviously, Jack Watson had to sit out tonight as well. Maybe any chance he could play next week? Well, the big ones for us is, is Kieran Butler, Paul Fox, Daniel Blackburn, Jack Watson, and um, you know, and Johnny uh, Carl. And they're, they're all out. They're all starters. So you know, we can get two or three of them back. We'll be happy. But look, if we don't, we don't. We have to fix it up the way we can and mix it about and see where we're going. And that's all we can do. Good.